Welcome to another Bowtie Dogs video. Today we're talking about body language. Our dogs all have body language. And let's get started. So what we're going to talk about today are the important guidelines, some of the things that we're going to cover. Let's get going. Relaxed, approachable, alert, checking things out, dominant, aggressive behavior, fearful, aggressive, stressed or distressed, fearful, worried, extreme fear, playfulness, and happy. Those are just some of the things we're going to use Bogey and Tyra to show you what they look like so that when you're out with other dogs, you'll know whether or not you need to be concerned or whether or not everything is a okay. So moving right along, the relaxed approachable, we're just hanging in there, our tails up, our heads up, and we are just looking around, seeing what's happening, checking things out. Alert and checking things out, again, a little more pointed, a little more uh, tense in the in the body the whole structure of the body is not as relaxed you'll be able to see that dominant aggressive Ooh, this is right we're leaning forward on our front paws our tail's still okay our head's still up but we are definitely leaning forward into being i'm top dog Fearful aggressive. Here we are. This one's really obvious. The dog is barking. They don't want the other dog to come closer or the person. And they are sitting back a little bit on their haunches, ready to spring. Stressed and distressed. Shaking. Sometimes shaking will do that. And sometimes it's nervousness, an actual not a full out shake like they would shaking a water but an actual like a vibration that's how you can that's one of the signals there are many different signals for stress and distress as well but that's one of the ones that's really obvious and then fearful and worried you notice tails down a little bit the ears are back and we are a little bit you can see a little bit tense a little bit stressed a little bit worried and then extreme fear and, and so the tails way down they're hunched back they're making themselves smaller to be more uh, pardon me to be less obvious and in some cases in extreme fear your dog might, their tail might let be totally under them it might be right around right underneath the dog it depends on the kind of tail that they have playfulness this is one where they're down on their front haunches and their front paws are out like this and usually in a case like this the tail's also wagging happy tails wagging bouncing around so one of the ways that you can tell when the, your dog is meeting a new dog at the park or even on the sidewalk if everybody's tails are wagging you're okay if you don't know the dog, you still want to be a little on the ball and, and watch what's going on, but you definitely can relax a little bit if everybody's tail's wagging. It's when they stop wagging that you need to be a little concerned. So there we are. We've got to all of those different behaviors that you can watch out for when you are at the off-leash park. And we're coming into the wet and rainy season. Now, Bogey, he does not like to get his paws wet. And we have tried some boots on him. Some he likes, some he doesn't. Check out these boots over on Amazon if your dog doesn't like to get their feet wet. Or in the wintertime when it's really cold out and they don't, you don't want your dog's feet to get paws, pardon me, to get cold and get all that buildup of snow and ice in them. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and we will be back next week for another Bowtie Dogs video.